so we've skipped forward substantially, and the only thing of note that really happened was Scott massed a tiny army from Beijing with, I think, two catapults and a few other units, and thought he could take Memphis. Uh, I basically just finished walls quickly during that battle, so he couldn't actually take the city, and then with a very, very tiny army, was able to destroy his catapults because he just was very poorly positioned advance war style up here. Uh, so to backtrack a little bit, uh, last time you, I talked about how I was going to build the city Memphis because of Lake Victoria. So because of Lake Victoria, this city was able to grow ridiculously fast. I mean, look at this thing. So much food. So it was also able to grow very quickly without building any buildings or having any improvements. So I basically had rushed a settler up here, built the city, and look how nicely defensible it is. This is all rough terrain. It's very difficult for an enemy to actually move in. Uh, the city grew very quickly, so it was uh, harder to take. And Scott is bad at the game, so I assume that he wouldn't actually be able to field an army large enough to take it. He didn't try to come in from both sides. He pretty much just forced guys over the top. And as they were moving slowly across all this bad terrain, the city and the bowmen in there just sort of pelted his catapults until they were a non-entity, and all the other units he sent were not strong enough combined to take the city. So he retreated, and we're currently at peace, and I've basically just spent the last while in the game convincing him that I have a larger army than I really do, and more importantly, planning to settle two cities over here. Because as you can see, I've revealed the whole map effectively, I don't think there's much over here. There are probably some islands, but not enough for Scott to really expand too much. He messed up in that he expanded down into this one nice place, and he never expanded further. So I expect within 50 or 60 turns, I'll probably build a city somewhere here, even though it won't be an optimal city, just to be a staging point for my final assault to destroy Scott once and for all. Uh, but right now, we're in the growth phase. Scott decided he wanted peace, and he even was willing to trade with me. So I've actually traded some luxuries with him for a while. I hope he's dependent upon those luxuries, and it'll be interesting to see what happens when those luxuries are no longer available to him. But all I'm going to do is I'm so slowly working up to get rid of this barbarian here. But I might farm them for some culture for a while, because they're not really a danger. Uh, I'm building catapults, and I'm actually going to build several catapults and other ranged units and sort of array them here for defensive capabilities in case Scott does decide to attack because I know that he has a pretty significant, oops, a fairly significant military compared to me. Though actually not as much as it was before. He has let that military fall by the wayside. I wonder if he's low on money. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to settle. Now I'm going to settle the good city first. There's no reason for me to rush over here because I know that Scott isn't going to be clever enough to actually go for this. Right here, one of these spots is probably the best possible place to put a city. So look, if I build a city here, I get access to horses, I got all these bonus resources everywhere. It's pretty much a great spot. But I could also go here or here, not really sure which. But none of that matters. I have to build the best city now. And the best city is going to be the one that's going to be right here. Just moving around to protect all that. Keep this guy steady. Keep this guy steady. Nothing too exciting going on now. Now, I feel like I should build a little more military, just in case Scott starts getting uh, dangerous here. But I could blow through some wonders, too, so actually I have a choice. Uh, I have a lot of options. I could blow through another wonder. Uh, I could build any of these buildings would be great with the current standings of the game. But I think I'm actually going to build a little bit more military, just to be ready for Scott. I want to... I don't want him to have any... Uh, misapprehensions that he could take me in a war because I don't want a war right now because if we don't war eventually because he'll only have these two cities maybe he'll be clever enough to put a city up here but I don't think he'll think to do it in time I'll be able to get two more cities here maybe a city here and I'll just be an economic and uh, industrial powerhouse and I'll destroy him when the time is right just with military <laughs> 